Hey guys, Happy Splasher here. Uh, good morning. This is 5-17-2021. We are going to be doing the new Divine Arena that just came up. Uh, I had a previous video that was doing the stream for this morning for the pit, so check that out on the YouTube channel. It will be up at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, as you can see in the banner that we have now. And so let's just get right into it. We got Divine Arena going on here. We have a Son of Woods on the left, and then we have a King of the North on the right. We got the flavor text here. Uh, sometimes the flavor text here will tell you what is going on in terms of what their units' abilities are going to be or what the quote unquote strategy is going to be. Uh, as of right now, nothing really in particular. So I guess I'd get right into it and figure out what to do. Okay, uh, so their King of the North has damage to all of our units. Also has these two summons, which are melee units, and they have a little bit of block, and they'll come in the first column, which is right here, and then plus attack to their order units. Then checking out their building, seeing what they got. Minus attack to us, plus attack to them, minus attack to them, and then just ready to build. Okay, we have our ability here that deals damage whenever we are attacked. Seeing what we can do in terms of board setup. All right, we'll start with this unit over here. I know that this unit is pretty good. It has flight, also has decent health. Also gives spikes to our units whenever they attack. And then whenever spikes happens on our side of the field, it will heal our warlord. So that's pretty nice. I'm going to be putting it behind this building. Uh, and the reason why is one, we can get rid of one of their buildings, and then the other is actually draw attention away from our unit here so that we can still get minus attack to their units. So our plan right now is to actually just kill their buildings first and then allow uh, open spots for us. We have this unit here that deals damage to our units whenever we attack them, and also there's extra damage dealt to us whenever one of their units attack us. So we will. I watch a spikes. Uh, spikes. Uh, yeah, we'll activate spikes. And then we're actually going to put this unit, which has the ability to heal us whenever we deal damage to their warlord. We're actually going to put it behind this building here. Uh, the reason why is that we can still keep it alive because we're getting less attacks to their warlord and then also it is defended by this building here okay that was unfortunate that this unit dies because now we can't do our spikes anymore but now um, this unit is still alive so that we can still get health regardless okay uh, that's gross i don't like how this unit, whenever it attacks, it gives plus health to their uh, order units. Uh, okay. Uh, here, all right. We will silence their units next so that those units won't have abilities anymore. Still, so this will die by spikes, and then this will take some damage, but not enough by spikes. And we're actually going to put this unit over here. Right, so this unit has a couple of things. It Gets block whenever it attacks. It gives our warlord block when it first comes up. And then also deals damage whenever it gets attacked. So we're just leaving these lanes open so that spikes can still happen. And then at the same time, uh, we can get attacks over there. And this unit with double attack also gets uh, health whenever it kills something. So we need to now kill this. Mm -hmm. This is going to work. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. So we're going to be summoning this unit. It has the ability to reflect damage whenever it is attacked. And then also gives us an attack boost here whenever one of our units are attacked. We're putting on the bottom so we can get the multiple. We can get as most attack boosts as possible, and then also gives us block over here. Okay, as you can see, enough damage was blocked so we could kill that. Now we just need to kill this. This unit 
gives an attack boost to our uh, enemies for a turn, and then also deals this splash damage. Right now, it's just still contending with their units. This unit has blocked, also deals damage to their ranged units when it, they attack, so you can see the extra damage over there. And then at the end of the turn, we will get health to our warlord for every wounded unit that's on their side of the field. In this case, it's just the one here, so that's why we get 28. Okay, and you see here the damage reflect and kill that and kill that so we can kill that. Now we're going to kill their building here so that they can't get any more attack boosts. When that unit died, it dealt damage to our melee units, but we're just doing this so that we can get more block on our warlord and then also has block over here. Okay. Uh, as you can see here, same multiple attack. We're going to be summoning this unit in order to kill it. So it gets a plus attack boost whenever it comes into play, and then also gives spikes as well. None of these other units are strong enough to actually kill. So here, as you can see, plus 22. So there's just enough in order to kill it. Now our board position is much better in terms of coverage, and they don't have units. So now they're, they are forced to actually kill our units. All right. Okay, uh, again, getting the damage to us, 135. So it actually kills any one of our units that uh, won't survive. So in terms of a trade-off, we need to summon something that's just big enough to kill this, yet something that we don't want to, uh, we don't mind having killed. So in this case, it will be either this unit here or this unit. If there's anything else going on over here. Nope, same stuff. Uh, we will we'll 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 try to give us a um, attack boost on there, swap off some stuff. So that way uh, we can set up for a lethal and as you can see, that random damage ended up killing these bottom rows. It's very important to actually have units down here as soon as possible, so that way a situation like this doesn't occur. All right, so they're still going to have that over there. And if we can summon this unit over here to block the damage. All right. So we're able to at least block the multiple damage over here, but then they still have these units to attack. Hmm. As you can see, that, that damage from this extra unit is, is, uh, is hurting us the most. Uh, a block here, but it won't be enough because of the effect damage that's going to occur. These lines are still open, and yeah, we are dead. Ugh. Yeah, sometimes that RNG will come into play and mess you up. Yeah, we did have we were doing pretty well in terms of uh, the units that we had. It's just that that particular unit came on and messed us up. So. For battle number two, we're going to again focus on the bottom in order to get this done. And actually, we're going to change the amount. So, it's here. so this time, we're actually going to be summoning this unit. This unit has pentagrams that come into play uh, that will give us plus health at the end. Then at the end of the turn, it will deal damage based upon how much uh, one particular unit's health is. So you see here, summon as the pentagrams, and then dealt 15. So I guess it dealt. I don't remember how much it dealt. Um, so I can see the pentagrams over here, and then it, based upon one of the health of one of these two units, it will actually do that. So now we're going to do our spikes here. And we're actually going to summon here. The reason why is we want to open up the, as many lanes as possible, get a little bit of a health boost. Uh, this unit is going to die from spikes. 
And then we're just going to keep stacking units on these lines over here. Okay, so that's good. That's getting more health. Going to let this unit die from spikes. And we're also going to be putting this unit over. We're going to be putting this unit over. Uh, has the ability to reflect the damage. And then we're also blocking for this unit, which gives health to us whenever one of their units dies. Okay, uh, once again, we're going to be summoning another unit to block for it. Just a little bit of health killing that because of the ranged, kill, uh, ranged damage over here. And this time we're actually going to save our silence for when that other, that random RNG unit comes to attack us. Uh, can we kill this unit now? 69, 142, that is 73. Cannot do, but we'll use this flight unit over here to block this melee unit. They have this unit that attacks four times. So a lot of damage coming us over here. Uh, this unit will die from combat. Yeah, we'll just we'll summon this unit over here just to kill this. A little bit of an over overkill for damage, but that's fine. And as you can see here, we're getting health back, so that's good. They, and they can't really get through to this particular line over here. Okay, so more damage going on over there. Summoning here, get some more uh, damage, get some more pentagrams. 75, so probably went off there. And now pretty much we have lethal going on this lane here. They did their damage, they did their summons, so they're trying to block our attacks. This unit's going to die from combat. Okay, uh, they have this unit that gets multiple attacks for every order unit that's attacks. Now we need to kill this. Uh, we we'll won't be able to kill this right now, so we'll do our silence. Get our plus attack, so we can actually get through here. So 79. So not quite enough to actually kill, um, deal lethal damage. But we will spread this out here. What we're going to do is actually put this unit here to allow for uh, extra damage being dealt to their units whenever this unit gets attacked. Okay, uh, what the heck just happened? Oh no, okay, it was just uh, regular sounds. Okay, yeah, we are all set. We can just do the skip, doing lethal over here, and then lethal over there. Okay, so that was Son of Woods over there. Now we're doing the King of the North. Okay, as you can see for them, they have the spikes, and then they have the silence, and then plus attack their nature units. Uh, for us, we have just a lot of double attack on our side of the field. We will start by filling their buildings. Going from there, we need to draw out their spikes, and then their silence. So we'll attack, summon this here. As a double attack, also gains the plus health over here, and then also deals that extra damage in the radius over there. So that's why we're able to attack this unit. Okay. 
Okay, uh, so they have this unit here that reflects the damage whenever it gets attacked. Also has a lot of blocks, so it will actually stay alive and then deal damage back to our units and then gives health to their, uh, or gives block to their warlord. So because of that, we won't be able to go for lethal quite yet. We haven't done spikes, so if we're going to do spikes, we want to summon a unit that has a lot of health. So in terms of that, it would only be this. Summon it over here. Damage. Interesting damage. And as you can see, this unit took the uh, reflect damage. All right. Let's see here. Damage over there. Um. We're going to use our ability actually to deal damage to kill that. So we're going to take more reflect damage. And then we're going to then. So here. We're going to be summoning this unit, this ranged unit to kill that. And then attack. At the end of the turn, this gives double attack to. Uh, two random melee units for us, so in this case it's only here. We want to use this unit for later after the spikes, so that way we can get in our multiple attacks. Okay, uh, 87 plus 25, so that's 107, so that'll be enough to kill that. All right, this, this Warlord still has blocks, so all of our attacks are going to be lessened, so we want to avoid... Going big right now. Come in this unit over here. Okay, unit dies. Did we get extra block? That was so weird. All right, they did their silence, so that's good. Now we can start summoning our our. Uh, our ghost over here, and then also these extra attack units over here. All right, block of 50. Thanks. All right, not a problem, not a problem. This also has block 45. Uh, so we need to get this first. How are we going to do this? Mm, okay, we'll summon this unit over here. Okay, just getting that damage in. All right, now we don't have any more units, but again, as long as we can get rid of the spikes first, then we're going to summon our other unit to deal damage to their units. Summoning our two units over here. And it's going to die from spikes still. I'm going to kill this unit because they're going to be dealing damage based upon the warlord. Um, sorry, the unit that has the um, is going to be marked for damage. So we're going to then summon this unit here. Uh, we're going to be summoning this unit. Some extra effect damage, and then we kill that. So as, now, as long as this unit doesn't die, we're going to have lethal. Okay, uh, this unit has spikes, and then also gives plus health to their warlord whenever they attack us. So this unit's still going to live. Oh, we have lethal right now. Uh, so we have this unit that attacks four times, and that's the one that we need. Twice, even twice because of the attack damage over here. Uh, so yeah, so that was King of the North. As you can see, kind of two separate strategies going on. Oops. Ah, hit the wrong button. Came back. Here. All right. All right. So yeah, two separate strategies over here. For some of Woods, it was just more of manipulating the spikes and then using the silence to then find a good spot to attack. 
Uh, for King of the North, it was more about the double attacks and then also waiting for these spikes to go away on their Warlord side so that we can then use our better abilities. Uh, so yeah, um, the walk over here. Uh, so yeah, that was Divine Arena. A Divine Arena resets every two days. So as you can see here, we just finished it. It's going to come back in about a day and a day and some hours. And then we'll have another video for you then. So if you have any questions, comments, feedback, or concern, uh, check out the Twitch channel. You can leave a message there. Uh, also follow if you want to see more videos. Uh, we're going to be doing stuff pretty much uh, every day. Uh, the streaming schedule is on the About section. I'm also on Discord, uh, Happy Splasher 9980, capital H, capital S. And then I'm also on YouTube as well. It's in the About section of the Twitch channel. We're going to have the links and some other visual stuff uh, later on, uh, like, comment, and subscribe so we can, uh, you know, get some more of this content out there. And so, yeah, otherwise, this is Happy Splasher signing off.